What's going on guys, and I'm going to be back in another Mutual 22 video, and in today's video, we are going to be going over my predictions for the American League Central Finest of the Franchise Program. So, this is the cards that I think are going to be in the American League Central Finest of the Franchise, and um, let me know what you think of my picks. Now, i got a ton of great artists lined up to showcase their cards. We got um, Swift from yesterday, who actually mispronounces his MLB Customs over on TikTok. Go check him out. I'll be calling him MLB Customs from now on. We got Brody over on Twitter. Go check him out. All the links are all in the description down below. And Dort Diplo, who will be showcased at the end. Who He had the same predictions as me, so we're just going to show all of his at the end. So, let's hop into it. The first team is going to be the Detroit Tigers, and my pick was Tariq Skubal. Now, the Tigers had a pretty bad year as a whole team. Like, they, they were not a good team overall, so it's a little tough picking a finest for them, but I did end up picking Tariq Skubal, and MLB Customs on TikTok was kind enough to make a card for me, so here, it's on the screen now. You've been able to see it, so MLB Customs made this one. Huge thanks to him. He did an amazing job. Um... Tariq Skubal was arguably probably the best pitcher. Um, blah, 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 I can't talk. Anyway, he was one of the best lefties in the game all year. He already has a player of the month card, but there's really not a lot of great options for the Tigers. He could give it to Javi Baez, but it's Javi Baez. Still, there's, there's not a lot of good options for the Tigers. They absolutely were horrible this year. So I'm going to give Tariq Skubal. Just, you know, just move on. Let's move on from them. The next team is going to be the Kansas City Royals. And we actually have two cards or two custom cards for this. One from Brody. One from um, MLB Customs. It is going to be Bobby Witt Jr. Now, I think he was a stud. He's a stud in the making. He's going to be an amazing player. Now, same with the Tigers. Not a lot of great players to pick from. And that's basically the same for the rest of, the rest of the division. There's really not a ton of great options for this entire division, which kind of sucks. But Bobby Witt Jr. really showed some flashes. He couldn't improve his defense, that's for sure. But hit well, have great speed. Uh, I can see Bobby Wood Jr. being a threat really in the MLB for a lot of years to come. He was just phenomenal. And, I mean, he could be an absolute glitch for the car. We've seen the future stars for Bobby Wood Jr. And they are studs. So, you know, more Bobby Wood Jr. the better. That's that's what I'm thinking. So, as you saw, Brody and MLB Customs made these cards. Huge shout-outs again. Link in the description as well. So, next team is going to be Chicago White Sox. And they had a disappointing season of the team. But not for their ace, Dylan Cease. He had a phenomenal season. He was the easy pick for this finest. And Brody and MLB Customs were kind enough to make cards for me. Again, go check them out. Um, really great, really great card art on both of these. Dylan Cease, he's going to be an absolute monster. He didn't really get a player of the month the entire year, I don't think, even though he deserved it on multiple occasions. I don't think he got one the entire year, but it's going to be made up with a great, great finest card. He is by far the most deserving in the Chicago White Sox. They, as a team, had a horrible, horrible season. So you got to give it to Dylan Cease. That's my opinion. Dylan Cease, number one pick by far. He is the guy for the White Sox. Lock it in, baby. There's no one else that I can even think of being that card. Anyway, now we're going to move on to the actual two good teams in the division. The Minnesota Twins are going to be next. We're not going to skip them, but we're going to start with the division winners, the Cleveland Guardians, whatever you want to call them. It doesn't matter. My pick for them is Jose Ramirez, J-Ram. Huge shout-out to MLB Customs for making this card for me. Absolutely phenomenal. J-Ram cards, they're glitchy. They can always be glitchy. There's tons of options you could give um, the Guardians. You could give it to, like, Tristan McKenzie. You could give it to, like... Uh, Emmanuel Classe would be another one. You could give it to um, Andres Jimenez, but J Ram's got to be my pick. You know, he was the finest player on that team, that division winning team. He was the finest player. Do I think they're going to give it to him? Eh, I'm a little shaky, but he was the finest player, and he is my pick. So, you know, obviously, let me know in the comment section below what you think of my picks so far. But yeah, I'm going with I'm going with him. I'm going with J Ram. He could be a glitch in the game. You know, great power. Great switch hitting, great everything. J Ram's just going to be an absolute glitch if he gets added to Emily Show 22. And, uh, well, he's already in Emily Show, whatever, whatever. Anyway, moving on to the final team in the division, the Minnesota Twins. And Dort Diplo is the only one who made a card, so we're just going to showcase all of Dort Diplo's stuff right now. And it's going to be Luis Arise. As you can see, these are all of Dort Diplo's cards. He had the same picks as me, so we can just showcase all of them at the same time. So Luis Arise is my pick for the Minnesota Twins. He had a phenomenal year, uh, basically was the best hitter contact-wise in the American League, the, one of the best averages in the league, great defense, could play all over the place, and he got the Altrium card, but he's also going to get the Finest card. There's not really a great option for the Twins. They're, they're, they're kind of stuck in a standstill because, you know, uh, Buxton was hurt as like he always is. I swear Buxton's always hurt. Correa had a good year, but like you could give Correa so many other good cards. There's no shot it's going to be him. And, I mean, Buxton got that all-star game card as well. But, you know, 
It's it's gotta be one guy. It's gotta be Luis Arise. He was the final spare for the twins. It's just gotta be him. He's not gonna be the best in-game card, but he is gonna be have a glitchy swing and have a lot of contact. So let me know in the comments section below what you think of my picks. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Please let me know. So as this time's video has been recorded, the American League East predictions have not been released so i don't know if i'm right yet but i will make sure to address that in the next video whether i was right what i'm right and we'll go over like my like um my percentage see how right i am i'm really interested i wanted to try and go 30 for 30 but i wouldn't mind going for like 20 for 30 that'd be pretty good but i'm gonna try and keep track of my picks and try and see how close and accurate i was to the actual picks that sds used for the finance program so make sure to subscribe for more finance predictions and i'll see you in the next one peace out